when you get there, get your center really underneath you. Imagine you have two lights in your hip points shining up towards the sky. And turn the two big toes in, press into the knife edge of your feet here, draw up through the arches, and hands will come together in prayer. Just taking a couple of nice big deep breaths, breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Good morning guys. So today I have just been taking it kind of slow, getting ready, doing yoga, having a slow morning because Neil and I both have the day off so we're just gonna kind of spend it together, spend some time with family, just have a fun day without having to work. We're leaving in a bit to go to lunch with my family but then we're gonna play some board games with them and stuff and so yeah, I'm just gonna read whenever I can fit it in today. Probably won't get as much done as I want to, but just kind of taking it easy. We also want to watch the next two Marvel movies that we're on tonight, so yeah, I'm really not gonna get that much reading done unless I decide to read after that, but we'll see how everything goes. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the video challenge today. <laughs> I'm not much of a cook and if I bake stuff, it's really simple. So I'm not sure. We'll see if I get in the mood later. But like I said, we're going out to lunch with my family, so definitely not gonna be making lunch. I already just had cereal for breakfast earlier, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see if I end up actually getting up the energy and focus to bake or cook something. He's the cutest puppy. So cute. <laughs> Adorableness. Aww. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so as you can see, we are done with lunch. It was delicious and super fun. And now we are at my parents' house. We're gonna play some games. Mario Party and some board games and stuff and it'll be fun. Good morning guys! I am feeling a lot better today than I have been the past two days. So on Wednesday I ended the vlog early so this is going to be combined with that and you will have already seen Wednesday. But it is Friday now. Yesterday I was really sick and Wednesday I got sick as the day progressed so I didn't film the rest of the day after the clips that you've seen. But I am doing a lot better now than I have been, which is really nice. I'm still kind of like congested and out of breath. And I've had like the fluish, achy muscles and stuff, but I'm feeling a lot better today. And that's also good because I have work. I was supposed to work yesterday and I actually had to call because I my muscles were really really weak so I couldn't like stand up and I work at a clothing store so you kind of have to be on your feet the whole shift and so it was really frustrating because I didn't want to have to call out but I had to and thankfully they were actually able to cut my shift rather than having me call out but I have just spent this morning kind of relaxing a little bit more, watching some YouTube and getting ready because I didn't want to overdo it <laughs> with how sick I've been in the past couple of days. So I just kind of decided to have a chill morning and then I think that I will start um, working on the reading or video challenge after I go to work today because I have to leave in about 20 minutes and then I'm hoping to finish Clockwork Princess tonight because Neil works all day long and I only work till 5 and he works till 9 so I'm thinking in those 4 hours I definitely have time to finish this book and maybe start another one so that's how I'll spend that time and then I'll edit my video. I don't know why I'm so chatty right now but I'm glad I get to vlog because it's a good thing to do when I feel like this. But yeah, that's kind of what I have planned for the day. 
I work from 1 to 5, and it's about 12.20, 12.30 right now. And then I will update you guys when I get back from work and just as the day progresses. Hi guys! So I am done with work and so ready to go home and read and relax. But first, I wanted to take my husband a drink since he has to work all day long. He's been there since 10, has to stay there till 9, so... I'm gonna bring him a drink and I actually left his like loyalty card for the place we usually get soda at home so I'm gonna grab that and then go get soda for him and then bring it to him but after I do all that I will check back in you with you guys at home and I will get some reading done maybe do the video challenge if I feel up to it and yeah we'll go from there okay guys so I am back after getting Neil a drink and stopping by his work and stuff and I just wanted to chat with you guys for a minute because I realized I am feeling super stressed and I want to talk it out a little bit. I always like being able to chat when I am feeling overwhelmed so that's what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> so I am going back to school next month, August, which is exciting because I love school but also stressful because I will be busy. <laughs> I am also trying to work on moving up in my job right now um, just because I really like managing people and helping people out and that's what this new position would be so I'm trying to work towards that. So it's just a lot of progression and it's exciting, but it's also overwhelming to try and figure out all of that. And on top of all of that, Neil and I are trying to find a new apartment because this one that we're in right now is just a summer contract. So once fall semester starts, we don't know where we're gonna live. And that is a really stressful feeling. Like, we have the funds and we'll be able to find a place, but actually finding it and getting approved and everything is the stressful part, so that's where we're at right now. So yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed and I haven't been reading much just because of that. And I was watching a couple of YouTube videos to try and relax and it was interesting because like, I watch a lot of people who vlog like I do and who talk about their lives and their struggles and someone I was watching was talking about, it's Milena Ciciotti, I love her, but she was talking about how she decided not to go back to school because she had a baby recently and so she's learning how to deal with being a mother and stuff and I just related to being overwhelmed and stressed but I still want to go back to school. I don't have a kid and I have the time I'm just a little stressed about it. <laughs> but the main reason I wanted to talk to you guys about this is because talking about it can help me clear my mind a little bit more and then I think I can actually like start planning and working on stuff. Maybe trying to fill out the FAFSA for example because I still haven't done that. <laughs> uh, and maybe researching some apartments in the area. So yeah, I want to get started on that stuff, but I thought I would just kind of talk to you guys and vent for a second so that I can feel a little bit less stressed and overwhelmed and just get it off my chest. Hello guys! So it is the day after the reading rush has officially ended, but I did finally finish Clockwork Princess last night. I know that I wanted to finish it before the reading rush and then read my TBR for the actual reading rush, but it just didn't end up happening, guys. I was so busy this past week during the reading rush and it was so frustrating because I just wanted to get more reading done than I was able to get done, but I was sick, I worked almost every day of it, it was just difficult, but I did finish Clockwork Princess, and I cried my eyes out finishing that book. Anyway, I just wanted to film this quick little clip to update you that I did finish my book, and to kind of finish out this little vlog from the past couple days of the reading rush. I hope that you enjoyed watching and seeing my updates and this vlog, and I will see you in my next video.
Bye.